What's up you guys? So today I planned on filming a kind of like a one month old favorites, must have, things like that. But I have a very fussy one month old who doesn't want to let mommy do what she needs to do. So instead I'm just going to do it kind of vlogger style and show you some of the things that I didn't really think were a big deal but make honestly all the difference when you have a baby. Ooh, this light. Mm -mm. It's back away, back away, back away. Okay, so let me see. All my stuff is over here. Let's go over here. Okay. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, so first off, I'm going to start with kind of the basics, common sense, but it makes so much of a difference. So I only use Pampers Sensitive Wipes for her only because I'm not sure if she'll ever have like an allergic reaction to anything so for right now I stick with sensitive now the reason why I'm showing you this is because the pop tops the tops that open close I'm holding my camera right now so I'm doing it with one hand one hand the pop the tops that open and close are I feel like a lot better than the ones that kind of peel back and you have to restick sometimes you forget to restick them and the wipes just get dried out and I just feel like the ones that have the pop top seem to stay a lot more moist so, for my personal preference, I prefer the Pamper Sensitive Pop Top Wipes. Now, another thing that's kind of common sense, everybody gets them, everybody buys them, are receiving blankets, which these ones are just um, from Target, the Cloud Island brand, and swaddle blankets, just have a pink and gold foil. Those I got from like Ross or Marshalls or something like that, and originally I was obsessed with like the Aiden, Aiden and Anais brand because that was like the most popular they were the biggest you know you can use them for breastfeeding which I initially planned on breastfeeding when I first had my daughter but things changed and I decided not to so I was kind of like oh I'm left with this huge blanket and I don't really need to cover her up or anything like that so it's okay to buy different brands you know that aren't the most popular because those ones actually I actually use those a lot more than the Aiden and Anais ones that I got that which are way more expensive and those ones are still pretty soft they're not as soft but she's comfortable with them so another thing which I didn't really think that she was gonna need these much until she got older is bibs she is she was born June 7th so she's a month and a few weeks right now and she spits up a lot after her bottles it's not she doesn't have like acid reflux or anything like that but just like a normal amount and she was just like going through outfits because she was always spitting up so the thing about these ones these are these ones are Carter's brand and I prefer how they undo on the side I'm telling you as a mom it's the little things that count I like that they undo on the side because when she's sleeping when she falls asleep especially at night I prefer to take her bib off so when she's wailing her hands at night she doesn't get the bib in her face so I like to unlatch it on the side and just pull it around her neck. Some bibs, they button in the back and then it's, you know, disturbing the baby. But regardless, I put both of them on her, but I really like how these ones unsnap on the side. And these ones, they kind of make that noise. They have like a, a material on the inside that's like a waterproof liner. So I really like these because they don't kind of go through the bib and get on her clothes, unlike other bibs. So another thing is I found these at Target, let me see, just Munchkin brand and what they are are just um, reusable pretty much like changing pads on the back side it's kind of like a waterproof material and on the front side it's just like a terry cloth and they're fairly long. Uh, what I usually do is I lay that on top of her changing mat because the changing mat that we have it's not wipeable so sometimes if she does have like a messy diaper it'll get out and get on the changing mat and then I have to put it in the bin and wait to wash it and everything so with these it comes in a pack of like three or four with that if it gets messed up then I can throw that in a wash and then instead of taking off the changing mat because I only have one and instead I have several of these so I also keep one in her diaper bag um, sometimes if I do have to change her in public if we go somewhere then I'll lay that down um, but I do have a changing pad that's a lot softer if I'm changing her on the bed it's just you know that way she doesn't mess up my sheets just in case 
Um, another thing, burp cloth, burp cloths, burp cloths. Okay, I'm telling you, I go through so many of these. Um, the ones that I like the most because of their thickness are these right here. You can buy them at Target and they're basically um, liners for, what are they called? Um, the diapers, what are those diapers that people use? I can't even think of the word. You know what I'm saying. Not not disposable diapers, cloth diapers. They're the liners for cloth diapers, but you can also use them as a burp rag. And they're so thick. I love that about these. And they're so, so soft. Um, another one that I have are these. They kind of get these white dots because I from the washer. But I like how it's curved on the inside so you can put it over your shoulder. They are a lot longer than the other ones. And they're fairly thick. They're not as thick as the um, diaper cloth liners, but they do the job. Um, this came in a pack of three. I think I got these from Ross. They do sell them at Target, but for almost like $10 more expensive. And I found these at Ross. It's like a three pack. It has a green one that comes with it. And I think it was on sale for maybe like 7 or $8. And these are they're called green sprouts that's the brand so i mean they, i'm sure they have them on amazon or something like that but if you do see them at target hey why not get them um the other burp cloths that we use right now are the ones from the target brand cloud island which were gifted to us at our baby shower i don't really like those as much they're cute for style purposes but they're very thin you know she spits up on them one time and then they're done so but we still use them when we run out of the thick ones, when the thick ones are in the wash. Um, so clothing wise, when she was born, she, the doctors were estimating her at 7 pounds, but my little sweetie was only 5 pounds, 13 ounces. So I had maybe only two packs of newborn clothes when she came home and nothing else fit. So I was like, oh my goodness, you know, I don't want to spend a bunch of money to buy newborn clothes. You know, people say they grow out of them so fast. It depends on your baby. If you want to buy a newborn, that's fine. Maybe just don't pop the tags on everything and just wash it after maybe your baby comes to see how much your how much newborn they'll need. Um, so we needed to get like newborn pants for her, which we only got a pack of four. And um, we maybe bought like one extra pack of newborn clothes because she just recently, maybe in like the last two weeks, stopped wearing newborn. Now she's in zero to three month and she can wear a few three month clothing. She's nine pounds now. But even though this is a basic, I say stock up on onesies. One, because they're so stinking cute. You know, you always want to have something different for them to wear every day. But another thing she had her first almost blowout the other day and she got a little bit of poopy on the edges of her her onesie and it's like really you're gonna change clothes a lot if it wasn't for bibs you'd probably change them more often but even with bibs sometimes they still get messy you know they spit up when you least expect it and their clothes get stained and you know milk drip dribbles all over the neck and it gets on their onesie so it's just good to have as many onesies as you want to have i mean if you buy too many, people are always having kids. You can always pass them down to someone else or, you know, go to a consignment shop, give them, give them to, you know, if you know a family in need, you can give them away, you know. Don't stress about not spending or, I mean, you want to save money, but don't stress about, oh, well, I don't want to get too many clothes they may grow out because I did that and then I was like, oh my goodness, my baby has nothing to wear because she's so tiny. So I have plenty of onesies. Wherever I go, I usually have three onesies at least in the bag. Um, people focus a lot on outfits and pieces. I'm telling you, this girl, I always just throw her in a onesie. I don't care about no outfits, no pants, no matching hat. Just throw a onesie on them and let those little cute rolls show. So definitely want to keep stocked up on the onesies. Um, another thing which she just has been able to kind of fit in these are the gownies that just slip over they look like long dresses and they have them for girls and boys and these ones are just cloud island brand and um these are zero to six months um they do have the foldables on the hands so if you want to keep baby from scratching their face she does have her hands at her face a lot but she rarely ever scratches her face so i don't really worry about that part because i know her hands soothe her but those are definitely great to have one 
it does help with night with diaper changes at night which is the main reason why I bought them because of the hype about oh you know it makes diaper changing easier but for my daughter I feel like no matter what you do she's gonna wake up during a change she rarely ever sleeps during a change which those are the best changes but it doesn't matter if I have a gown on her or a onesie or a swaddle. She usually does wake up just because of the cold sensation of the wipes. But maybe as she gets a little bit bigger, she'll sleep through night changes. But I feel like the gowns are nice because it does make the changes quicker. And plus, you can keep the room a lot cooler without baby getting cold. Um, right now, she does sleep in her um, rock and play right next to my side of the bed and I keep a blanket under her just if she like spits up it kind of gets on the blanket or if she has a blowout it won't ruin her rock and play even though it is washable um so I don't like to put a blanket on her when she has this on I just pull it down and make sure her feet are covered and she feels like her temperature is great once I pick her up she's not too warm not too cold so it doubles kind of like a, as a blanket so definitely get a few like I said every baby's different you know so don't don't overbuy for certain things just because of the hype of it because every baby's going to be different. I spent like 30 bucks on this um, Love to Dream Swaddle. It's like a zip up. Let me see. Let me grab it. And, you know, I was like one of those moms like, oh, I'm going to swaddle my baby. And, you know, she's not going to be around here kicking and blah, 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 whatever. And this is it. And I got this from Target. Let me see. And you can get it on Amazon, which they have so many cute patterns. But I just got the gray and white one. And it just looks like this. And it zips up at the top and the bottom. And it's just like a sleep sack. She slept in that one night. And I could barely get her to sleep in it then. She slept in it one night. And she just doesn't like, even though her hands are near her face, she doesn't like to be confined. So she did sleep in it one night and I think it's just because she was super sleepy for the most part. And I plan on giving that thing away because she did not like it as much as I was hoping for. So that's the thing. Don't buy so much stuff because of the hype because you don't know what your baby's going to like. Another thing I do have which everybody knows about is the Wubba Nub which is soothing her right now so I'm not going to touch it. Um, originally I was against Passy, Passy, Passy. No Passy, no Binky, no Bobo. But now it's like... She likes it. She's still learning to keep it in her mouth. So that's the frustrating thing because sometimes she'll have a bottle. She may wake up a little bit and she just wants it to soothe herself. But then she drops it a lot. So she's still learning how to keep it in and everything like that. But I mean, when she's not crying for it, we don't give it to her. But it's not like a necessity. I mean, she does like to have it throughout the day. But I'm like, you know what? She's a baby. I'll give it to her for now, but hopefully we can wean her off of it sooner rather than later. But hey, it's better than her sucking her thumbs because you can't get rid of the thumb, but you can get rid of a passy. So another thing that I have, and there's just one more thing after this, is I have this Baby Gannix alcohol-free um, hand sanitizer. It's a foam hand sanitizer. I have that in both my diaper bags. Well, I have two diaper bags, and sometimes I put it just like in the drawer next to her crib. So I can wash my hands and things like that. Clean them off when I change her at night. That, I love it. If people, if we're visiting family or something like that, then I can have them, hey, can you, you know, just sanitize your hands real quick. If I've been touching stuff and I just want to sanitize my hands real quick, it's perfect. It dries quickly. It doesn't have a strong fragrance, nothing like that. So I think that's perfect to kill germs. Another thing I like is this right here. And I think this is munchkin and arm and hammer maybe but you can get this from target it's just like a poo poo bag it's like for wow look at my lipstick so trifling anyways so these bags are pretty big um you just put stinky diapers in them they actually smell really good it smells like lavender <clears throat> and they sell those like in green <coughs> excuse me and like blue as well they all have the same scent and I just attach it on the inside of her diaper bag if we're out and you know if I'm at the doctors or something I need to throw a diaper away 
nobody wants the diaper to be smelling up the house or the office all day so we always put it in one of those bags um it works well for dirty clothes as well if she messed up an outfit and we're at a family member's house or something like that then i'll just go ahead and put it in the baggie until we get home and i can put it in her dirty clothes bin um so yeah i love those but i think that's mostly it i don't really know what to call this video i say newborn necessities i don't know must-haves whatever you want to call it but i mean i'd say necessities because everybody's gonna have their things that they love that they don't love uh, but one more thing is um which i'm not going to show you it's at, it's on our dresser right now though is a bottle warmer um it was on our baby registry and one of our friends got it for us for our baby shower and i love that thing it's so easy to use um you just put the water in it put the bottle in there and we set it for like two minutes and then her bottle's nice and warm and it usually helps her go back to sleep the best when she does have a warm bottle before we were giving her like room temperature bottles and then i'm like oh wait we can give her warm bottles so she seems to love that more when they are warm um it's very easy to use it goes off by itself if you forget to turn it off if there's not enough water in it it won't turn on so it does have its like safety gadgets and things like that so i love that and plus you know once she starts um eating solids then if we freeze something or want to warm some food up it can go in there as well to be warmed up if you are breastfeeding and you have milk in a bottle you can put it in there instead of putting it you know waiting for water to boil to warm up the bottles so i definitely suggest it some people don't really care for it just like a wipe warmer but i mean don't knock it till you try it you know find the things on sale see if someone's giving one away if you don't want to spend money for it or put it on your registry and then if you don't like something give it to somebody else who's having a baby because somebody's always having a baby like i said but anyways i hope i didn't ramble too much i'm just trying to think if i'm missing anything i would show you guys little mama but you know what let's go see her she's sleeping nearby so it's okay but that's mostly all i have for y'all let me see if i can get her in here Here she is, sleepy baby. So I'm thinking about maybe next time doing like a one month update because I mean, I'd love to look back on these, you know, sometimes when I watch some of my favorite YouTubers and I'm like, oh, I remember when they did a one month update, now they're one years old. So I think I might do that soon and maybe like a um, postpartum recovery because my labor and delivery definitely went the opposite of what I was expecting. I'm sorry if I'm like looking the wrong way. I'm like looking at myself instead of looking at the camera. But um, if you come across this video, just let me know if you're interested. Um, I am a C-section mama. So, you know, if anybody else is maybe going to have one or you just want to know kind of what to expect or if you've had one and you want to know how mine went, just leave me some comments down below and, you know, I wouldn't mind making a video like that. But anyways, I appreciate you guys for watching. So go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll be back with another video. Okay?